right, the big news in the underworld this week is coming out of Brooklyn, New York, where mob boss Big Joe Messino is taking the witness stand in a federal racketeering trial against Vincent Vinigorgis Bassiano. Both are members of the Bonanno crime family. Messino is serving two life sentences following his convictions in 2004 and 2005 for a combination of eight homicides. Bassiano is also doing life for his conviction in an earlier racketeering case. In this case, the stakes are even higher. He could be sentenced to death if convicted. Much has been made of Messino getting on the witness stand by the New York media and the international and national media. It's being touted as one of the first times a mob boss has ever testified. In fact, Messino might be the first New York mob boss to testify, but 10 years ago here in Philadelphia, in this federal courthouse, Raf Natale, the boss of the Philadelphia mob, got up and testified at length about his former partners in crime. And much like everything else in the underworld and in the media, if it doesn't happen in New York, it doesn't happen. Nikki Scarpa was John Gotti before John Gotti was Don Gotti, but Gotti got all the attention. But they were the same psychopathic celebrity gangsters. Same thing's happening now. Messino, the mob boss on the witness stand, becomes the big story. But we saw it all here in Philadelphia a decade ago. Messina is offering insights into the organized crime family that he controlled and words of wisdom. At one point, he talked about different people who are earners and people who are shooters and murderers. Bassiano, he said, was both. But then, as an aside, he said, you need a lot of different kind of meat to make a good sauce. And what he said, frankly, from the witness stand was he hoped his testimony would get him out from underneath the two life sentences he's serving. Big Joe Messino, one time a 300-pound mob boss, is 68 years old, and he doesn't want to die in jail. A mob boss cooperating with the feds underscores the fact that Cosa Nostra, the mafia, is no longer what it used to be. If a mob boss can take the stand, it clearly underscores that Omerta, like the famous Liberty Bell here in Philadelphia, is cracked. It doesn't work anymore.